Hello crafty friends, welcome to the second in our Not Just Christmas in July series. Today I'm going to make this Christmas card for you. Do stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing you five other non-Christmas cards that I made with the design ideas that I used here. Right, let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my background for this card. And I'm going to use warm lipstick and pine needles. It's a play on the usual red and green. I'm not a big fan of red and green uh, for Christmas. I just find it too strong. I like things a little bit more subtle. So instead of red, I'm gonna go for warm lipstick and pine needles uh, is a, a nice green, but it can be quite gentle. So I've smushed one lipstick there and I've got my smusher here to pick that up and I'm going to smush that here on my piece of mixed media paper. If you want to know how to make and use a smusher then there is a playlist all about it in the video description. Right, that's my first layer down, I'm going to dry that with my hair dryer. Now I'm going to add a layer of pine needles. And I've dried it in between because red and green are opposite on the colour wheel. They're complementary colours, but when they mix, they make a muddy brown, which I don't want. So I've dried the red and the green should just sit on top of it rather than make a muddy brown. So I've cleaned my smusher. I've added quite a lot of water to that to make it a fairly dilute green because as I say, I don't really like the very bold greens that you get on Christmas things. So you can see here that the green has lifted a bit of the pink and has gone a bit brown. So I'll just dab that up. I think I would like to boost the warm lipstick again, because there are a few areas where the two colours have kind of neutralised each other. So I've got this, I guess, snowy stencil which seems appropriate for Christmas cards and I'm going to blend the warm lipstick through because I'm not diluting it I'm not adding water the distress oxide will sit on top of whatever's there and be quite bold now bring back a bit of the brightness I'm not entirely happy with this background so I'm just going to take a little bit of white acrylic, add it to my brayer and roll it over, push everything into the background. I've given this a really good blast with my hair dryer and now I'm going over it with corn flour to make sure everything's dry and grease free and static free because what I want to do next is heat moss. I've got some circular stitch stamps. I'm going to just stamp all over, crisscrossing them over each other. Now I'll put that in my gold embossing powder and see what we've got. So there's a few places where it hasn't stuck, but that's okay. I'll just tidy up a little bit. I'm not particularly bothered about perfect impressions because this is all gonna get cut out and cut down in a minute. So I'll melt this with my heat tool and then add a few more bits over the top, I think. What I'm gonna do now is cut out lots of circles using these three plain circle dies. They've not got any stitching or anything on. So I'll cut out as many as I can from this. So I've got two full circles in each size and then some partial circles. Obviously, if you wanted to do something like this to batch make lots of cards, you could just do your background on a much bigger piece of paper and then you'll get more circles. 
And what I want to do with this is create some bubbles and have them hanging down from the top of the card. This is going to be landscape. So these partial circles I can have coming in from the side. I can leave a little gap here and there. Something like that. I think I want to put a bit of an edge around them though. So I'm going to take one lipstick and a finger dauber and go around the edge of each one. So sort of just give it a little bit of sort of definition. I'm just going to put a bit of high tech PVA glue on the back, glue them to my card. That's the big one there. I'm not going to press everything down just yet. So I've got those where I want them. I'm just going to use some deli paper to press them down. You can use any non-stick type paper for this. It just stops the glue getting stuck to the paper. Then I'm going to snip off the overhang. Now these are baubles, a sort of garland of baubles. And on the top of your baubles, you normally have a little cap that you attach the string through. So I'm going to draw the cap freehand using a gold jelly roll pen just a little square on the top with a loop and now I'm just going to add some scribbly threads from the top of the card to the tops of my baubles and each one can have a little bow and for my sentiment, I've got a printed Merry Christmas. These are the ones that I used in the previous Not Just Christmas in July video. And I'm going to mount that on a bit of paper that I have coloured with one lipstick. Before I stick that down, I think I'm going to use this partial bauble to cover up the string on this bubble here. I'm not entirely happy with it. It was a little bit too scribbly for my liking. You know, you can always cover things up. And then I think I'll put that Merry Christmas there over this little cluster. And to add a little bit of extra gloss and shine, I'm going to add some Morning Dew Nouveau Drops around and about here to bring in that little bit of dimension and shine and gloss. And there you have it. This is just a card panel, but it will go on the front of a four by six card blank eventually. There were a few moments when I did think about starting again because it wasn't quite going the way I had envisaged, but I think it works and I'm glad I persevered with it. So as promised, I'm gonna show you a few more cards that I made using the same design idea. I did pull bits from my box of backgrounds and bits rather than start from scratch with the backgrounds each time. So this card I made using much the same idea, but instead of making bubbles, I made balloons. And I made the little bit at the bottom of the balloon using some pens and coordinating colours. And I alternated colours of balloons to give them a bit more separation. And then I added some gold Nouveau drops where let's say a balloon highlight would be to give them that obvious balloon look. And then I added a congratulations down the bottom. And for this card, instead of circles, I did some cogs. So I cut cogs out of a background and put them in a higgledy biggledy fashion across the card. But then I flipped it that way. So now I've got a portrait card. I added some gold Nouveau drops again, just scattered them around to bring in a bit more flow and energy and added a It's Your Day sentiment, which I drew a doodly border around to help it stand out a bit. Here, instead of circular elements, I used hexagons. And again, I did a portrait card. So I arranged these in a higgledy piggledy way, alternating the colours again to help them stand out, drew around the edges in black so that they coordinated with this stamp 
and then added again gold nouveau drops around and about for flow and energy and direction for this card i cut some hearts from some diy glitter paste experiments that i did and again alternated them in this kind of higgledy piggledy way drew some stems and leaves and turned them into flowers added some pollen and a happy birthday and the black really does i think coordinate with the sentiments and the line drawing and then for my last card we went portrait again and i die cut some splats out of another background and arranged them horizontally bouncing up and down added the nouveau drops and a sentiment on top so there we have six cards one of which is a christmas card made using the idea of a bouncy higgledy piggledy arrangement across a card front bringing in some black line work and black sentiments and some nouveau drops you could obviously use enamel dots or you could spatter on but they've all apart from this one because of these lines i think got plenty of white space so they're nice and clean and simple clean lines and lots of white space right i hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you an idea for a christmas card that you could batch make if you've got a lot to make as well as some other non-christmassy cards too so that's it do come back tomorrow for another video and i will see you very soon bye for now